All right, coming up next here on The Matthew Filipovich Show, we are joined by our very own Bob Rock. Bob Rock is here to share his thoughts on Jason Richwine, who, as most of you know, recently resigned in disgrace from the Heritage Foundation over his claims that immigrants, especially in the Latino community, tend to have lower IQs than their white American counterparts. Bob Rock, thank you so much for being on the show. Um, Excuse me, Matt, before we begin, I was told... This would be a catering interview. So. Uh, uh, well, I, I didn't think you were being serious there, Bob. Why wouldn't I be being serious, Matthew? Well, well, because I'm in Boston and you're in Chicago and you're doing this interview from your from your apartment. Yeah, that's another one of the demands. I wanted to do the interview from my apartment that you obviously fulfilled. Making with the eats. Not so much. Um. Is there um, is there food in your fridge? Yes. Well, there you go, catering. That's better. <laughs> That's how you negotiate, kids. Anyway, I'm sure you heard about this guy, Jason Richwine. Or should I say respected scholar, Jason Richwine? My man's getting a lot of heat lately because of a study he published that concluded that Hispanic immigrants, and Hispanic in general, are significantly less intelligent than their Anglo-American counterparts. Yeah, well, I mean, that must hit really close to home, considering that you are Hispanic. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm American, pal. Get it right. Well, I, I know you're American, but aren't both of your parents Mexican? Well, sure, but the hospital uh, I was born in was as white as the doctor who delivered me, so, you know... That negates that whole thing, and technically that makes me American, not a self-loathing Latino drowning in the disdain of a colonized nightmare. I mean, sure, some people are calling this a misleading diatribe of racist intent, but come on, man. This guy went to an expensive school for a long time, and he's not even a useful kind of doctor of any sort. I mean, he recently stepped down from the Heritage Foundation, so you know he's good at his job. The best I've ever done is gotten fired over stupid crap I've said out loud. Well, I mean, isn't he being fired for saying stupid crap out loud? No, he's being fired for stupid crap he said in print. Huge different. Any idiot with a recording device and time in his hands can blather on for hours. I mean, look at people like Rush Limbaugh or you. Me? Wait, hey, are you comparing me to Rush Limbaugh? Really, Bob? Really? Calm down, Rush. After all, only important things get put into print, like money, concert tickets, and tasteful German pornography. People as smart as Jason Richwine can look at the fastest-growing economic minority in this country and uncover the stupidity and ignorance that's somehow holding us back. Bob, I mean, the dissertation in question that he defended seems to be lacking credibility even by his own professors who now seriously question its entire legitimacy in the academic field. Professors, what do they know? He's got a good point. Brown people who know two languages must be less intelligent than American whites who just know one. Why else would this country invest the majority of its budget into war, private interests, if it wasn't so super intelligent? Countries lacking intelligence would invest more in education because, to intelligently put it, they're a bunch of dumb, dumb nerds who want to spend their whole lives at school all day. Americans want to pioneer in things, like coming up with something between the tablet and the smartphone, or producing the most Fast and the Furious sequels, FF6 in theaters this May. Maybe Jason Richwine is a narrow-minded bigot. A privileged brat who stumbled upon his accreditation by falling through the cracks of academic bureaucracy. Or maybe he's the bravest American since Mitt Romney! Um, um, Bob? 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 Um, quick question. Have you been using LSD again? I'm sorry. The comedian you are trying to converse with, Bob Rock, is not available. At the sound of the tone, please leave your message or press 1 for more options. Beep. Bob Rock, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Born in the USA, I was 
Oh, Jesus, you bet.